I have this fun looking integral here. I have a bunch of e's, a bunch of e's to the e's. And usually when you're integrating something like this, some exponential function or the exponential function with a function in the exponent, you usually do a u substitution. And you usually make that u the thing in the exponent of e. Well, huh, we have some choices here and we want to pick the one so when I make du, it's all going to work out, it's all going to cancel out. And kind of a good rule of thumb is to pick the most complicated thing in the exponent of e. So I think I'm going to select it to be right here, to be this exponent of e. I'll make u e to the e to the x. And let's just see what happens. Let's see what works out. I'll need du. The derivative of e to the e to the x, the rule for derivating e, deriving e, is to copy it, just copy it exactly, and then multiply it by the derivative of the exponent. Well, what's the derivative of the exponent? The exponent is e to the x. So what's the derivative of e to the x? It's itself, so I'll multiply it by e to the x. And since I'm doing du, I'm gonna to need to tack on a dx here. Well, hey, this is working out awfully nice because I have an e to the x times e to the e to the x and a dx in my integrand, inside of my integral. So my du exactly matches this and my u exactly matches this. And so I can just do a single substitution. It looks a lot more complicated, but really just comes down to that because the e to the x, the e to the e to the x, and the dx, that becomes du. And this, well, e to the e to the x, that was in the exponent of my e. So our integrand reduces to e to the u, du. That's really nice. We know what the antiderivative of e to the u is. It's just itself. The antiderivative of e to the u du is e to the u plus c. Every good indefinite integral deserves a plus c. Now we started with x's, we want to end with x's. So instead, I'll just replace this u with what I know u to be, e to the e to the x plus c. Hey, there's our answer. There's our integral. You can always check. You can derive this using derivative properties, and you'll get the original integrand. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you have a great day.